This is the newest sports bar in town, Trophies, and inside it has the look of a sports bar in heaven. There are the Super Bowl rings in the trophy case and Bob Lanier's giant bronze shoe. There are 26 different TV screens to watch a game on and a bar as big as an end zone to serve you a beer. If you're hungry, there's meat on the grill and a tasty spinach salad. Hey, wait a minute, spinach salad in a sports bar? Well, the truth is, this is not a sports bar. It's a restaurant made to look like one. We're more concerned whether the fresh ahi is coming off the mesquite broiler properly than whether or not the Cleveland Browns uh, won a football game. That's from the majority owner himself. And if you look carefully, you'll see what he means. The bar is well stocked, but did you notice that there aren't any pitchers of beer? That's because the owners decided that somehow a pitcher isn't right in a place that wants to be a first-rate restaurant. And yes, some people are watching a game, but there isn't any play-by-play -play sound. Unless it's a big game, the action is replaced by top 40 music. And with that in mind, unless he's hungry, the die-hard sports fan may find himself alone at the end of the bar. What's a sports bar where you can't get a pitcher of beer? What's a sports bar where you can't even hear the game? Well, the truth is the die-hard sports fan doesn't go to a nice restaurant place like Trophies. He comes here. At Tuba Man's, maybe it's the deer wearing a gas mask you notice first, or the guys in baseball caps at the bar. The cook at Tuba Man's can't fix a spinach salad, but he does make homemade fries. And Donna, the bartender, knows her customers well. Very sports orientated, most of them. And they can get rowdy if their team is winning. What Tuba Man's lacks in trendiness, it makes up for in a kind of crazy charm. And this is a place where you can get a pitcher of beer.